Hello everyone and welcome to my latest video on Wind in the Willows merchandise focusing on the Costco Falls series. My name's Richard Haynes and those who know me well uh, know that I'm a huge fan of this, this brand, this wonderful series. And today I'm celebrating uh, the second uh, transmission of the second episode of the series, series one, The Kidnapping of Toad, transmitted on the 4th of May 1984. Uh, so I'm beginning uh, with a video. So this is going to kick off a uh, VHS collection video, kind of picking off from where I left off a few years back. So I did a video a few years back that focused on VHS releases in the UK, uh, primarily in the 80s. And uh, this one uh, focuses on sort of taking us into the 90s and how the sort of packaging changed and so on. Um, I'm beginning with quite an unusual one, as you can see here, uh, from a lollipop. Uh, collections. So um, still Thames video, uh, but this was called Patient Toad and Other Stories. And this actually came out in 1989. So just just about to head into the 90s. But uh, I wanted to sort of kick this one off with, like I say, uh, videos with different packaging design. This is also an interesting one in relation to uh, the last uh, video I did on YouTube because of the episodes on it. Uh, Patient Toad, as you can see, is on this. Uh, now, there was that release, The Further Adventures of Toad, that was re-released because they made a mistake with it, uh, with the packaging. It was meant to be The Storm, the episode The Storm, uh, as the sort of second episode on there. Uh, so it replaced Patient Toad that was originally on it. Uh, but Patient Toad, of course, um, got a release on this video. I think what happened was maybe this one was uh, sort of planned first, came out first, and so they realised they were doubling up on an episode. I'm pretty sure that's what happened now. Um, but you can see Patient Toad, and of course, in celebration of the episode that we're celebrating today, The Kidnapping of Toad is on here, and Badger's Remedy. So, nice little collection of episodes there. Uh, in terms of how I acquired this, I believe it was eBay. <laughs> Good old eBay. So, this one doesn't date back to my childhood. Uh, but it's an interesting one. It's um, a, quite a rare one. Uh, there are only two of these lo lollipop branded videos, the second of which we'll review now. Okay, and this is that second video, Mole's Cousin and Other Stories. Uh, so this is a lovely one because it actually features all episodes featuring Mole's Cousin, Oberon. And he was introduced, of course, in Mole's Cousin, uh, episode six from series one. And if we go to the back, we can see a um, lovely couple of pictures, first of all. Um, that's from Happy New Year, Toad doing his uh, hogmanay. <laughs> and this is Mole and Oberon from Oberon's Return. So Mole's Cousin, Oberon's Return from Series 2 and Happy New Year from Series 4. So quite a range there across the, the entire series. Uh, this episode uh, also came out in 1989 and um, it's a lovely one. Again, pretty rare. Uh, see the video in there. So Lollipop is the brand. Lollipop also brought out a number of videos uh, for other animated series. Um, also some children's favourites collections, which I'll... Uh, I'll showcase in a separate video here on YouTube. But yeah, pleased with that. Again, this is another one that doesn't change, uh, go back to my childhood, but I got this on eBay many years later. So very happy to own this. Then we get into a video release that's pretty special to me. So this one does date back to my childhood. Uh, this is Lord Toad and Other Stories. So like the lollipop ones there, there are only two videos with this packaging uh, design change but I remember vividly seeing this in a video shop in my hometown and uh, I remember when we we got it I was with my mum out shopping and my brother and uh, she said to us oh we can buy a video each and both my brother and I really love the idea of finding a nice brand new Wind in the Willows video uh, so I went into this video store that's no longer no longer there sadly but um, I remember going in there and seeing this and thinking wow three new episodes of Wind in the Willows I've never seen before <laughs> And then my brother, uh, meanwhile, went to a WH Smith store, which is still there, uh, which I sort of covered in a previous video. But he got the Happy Birthday uh, WH Smith exclusive VHS at the same time. Uh, love this video. Love the episodes on it. Uh, all of them from Series 4. So we have Lord Toad, Hall for Sale and Toad's Harvest. Toad's Harvest is probably my favourite from Series 4, even though it doesn't feature the weasels. <laughs> I love episodes with the weasels, but that's probably in my mind, the best episode that, that, that doesn't feature the weasels. So yeah, this uh, video came out in 1992. So um, yeah, 
uh, this is where the packaging design uh, took off in a new direction. Like I say, only two uh, released in this style, uh, but lovely, lovely video. We've got the usual sort of video collection symbol on there. Um, the videos in the 80s, of course, had that video collection on the side here, which is, is missing from here. We do have the Thames video logo there on the side, but on the back, of course, we do have Thames video and also the video collection logo there as well. So very much part of the collection, but um, like I say, very different style. A lovely sort of watercolour um, painting here. A um, little bit in the in the same vein as Beverly Bush's uh, painting. Not 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 the same style, but um, it's sort of reminiscent of that. So yeah, very special video to me. Okay, and here's that other video. Um, I'd probably say this is probably slightly rarer than the other one. Uh, this one I found extremely hard to find. I was aware of it at the time when I got the Lord Toad one. I'd seen this one uh, in that same video store and uh, we, we never got it. We never bought it at the time. I uh, don't really know why. We just, yeah, the time never really came. Uh, I was relying on trying to save up pocket money at that time and pleading with my parents <laughs> to get the odd video. Uh, but luckily I was able to acquire it uh, much later on from, again, you guessed it, good old eBay. <laughs> Actually, this one's special for a different reason. Uh, this, in many ways, is what kicked off my collecting habit as an adult. Uh, I remember vividly searching for this on eBay, um, and I remember the year, 2002. I was in Budapest in Hungary, and uh, maybe I was a little bit homesick, but I was in an internet cafe, and I suddenly thought, why don't I see if I can find this video that I wanted all those years ago? Even though I was already aware of the episodes on it, I'd seen them on Channel 5, I even recorded them, so I had them, but I just wanted to find this video. I just wanted to see if I could track it down. Um, and thanks to the wonders of the internet and eBay, there it was. It was listed and uh, the price was okay and I went ahead and got it. And that sort of kicked off the, I don't know, the collecting drug, you could call it. <laughs> um, the episodes on here, nice little mix here. We have The Labyrinth, Bankruptcy and Unlikely Allies. The Labyrinth and Bankruptcy are from Series 2. Unlikely Allies from Series 3. So, yeah, very uh, lovely video again. Great episodes, again, released in 1992. Very difficult to track down now. Uh, my copy isn't the best. You can see it's a bit, the sleeve is a bit sort of ripped there on the uh, side. Uh, there's the video inside there, just like the other one. We have the video collection logo there. So, yeah, so once, once these two were released, um, the packaging design then took off in a different direction, uh, leading to probably what was the sort of uh, best uh, sort of period of VHS releases. And here we go. Okay, so the first of those releases was the original film itself. So this was when all the videos, well, many of the videos that were released in the 80s began to get re-releases. And I have to say, when, when these came out, I saw them in the shops, I thought, wow, this is beautiful packaging design. What I love most about it is the fact that we do get the original typeface, of course, that we see in the opening of every episode and the film itself. And we also get some lovely illustrations that are actually the Beverly Bush illustrations. So it's very authentic, exactly as the packaging probably always should have been, in my opinion. Um, it's still got that lovely sort of vintage style to it, almost like, you know, the classic sort of old photo album feel to it. We've got the sort of you know, not just a rectangular picture here, we've got the sort of soft rounded corners, we've got the oval shape here where um, we see the sort of cast list, uh, and we even get uh, Brian Koskov and Mark Hall's names mentioned, which to be fair, we did in the original as well. Uh, but beautiful, what I also love about this is if we go to the back, we have um, an image there, illustration, very reminiscent of the opening of the episodes as well. Sure, the characters strike different poses, but um, I, th I just think that's a lovely touch. It just feels so, so right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, and this is wonderful. You know, this, this was released in 1993. Um, I didn't buy these straight away. I think by that point, I'd sort of, I guess you could say grown out of it a little bit. Um, I was a teenager by this point and um, yeah, I was into other things to be fair, but um, it was nice to see them in the shops. And then eventually I, I got hold of them as I started collecting again. Um, yeah, so not a lot else to say really. We've got all the same sort of text from that original uh, video from, I think it was 1986. It even says here, previously available in different packaging 
as VC1048. Um, but yeah, I do love this packaging on the side as well there. Got the Thames Video logo down the bottom there. Inside, video collection there. So yeah, so this was the film and then they went on to release others. The first of which was A Tale of Two Toads. So this was the second video they released with this packaging style, uh, the second re-release, uh, the uh, wonderful special from 1989, A Tale of Two Toads. And you can see the packaging is very similar to the film, a little bit yellower. So the film version was sort of a peachy color, as you can see here, if I put them side by side. So it's lovely that they went with very sort of subtle, almost like pastel shades for those backgrounds so that the, the photos really stood out. Um, but I love that it's all the same. Beverly Bush illustrations there, the foliage there. And if I turn these around, you can see that the style is, is very, very similar there as well. Um, again, this says previously available in different packaging. Lovely video. And uh, interesting here, we've actually got a um, little sort of advertisement for the film there. Uh, so why not? Why not use the inside of the sleeves? So that was that's a nice touch as well. So yes, very pleased to own that. Again, it's one I got uh, years later when I got back into collecting. And then came Winter Tales. Um, so this is another classic video from the 80s that got a re-release in 1994. Uh, I believe this was the first one I'd got in this style, which is funny really, because I think Winter Tales was the first one I'd got in the previous style as well. But um, I, remember, I remember ordering this uh, from a, I think it was WH Smith, where you could order videos in. Um, and I think I just decided I really, really wanted a new version of um, the video that I loved so much. The, the previous one had got pretty worn out and I thought well, it would be nice to sort of uh, get a new one. So this this was before I was really properly collecting. Um, I think this must have been, yeah, not too long after it was released. Maybe late 90s I acquired this. Um, again, lovely sort of similar style. Uh, we've got different lovely illustrations now to reflect sort of the the wintry um, seasonal feel of the video, uh, the theme, got lots of holly and, and so on, really nice, beautiful design. And again, we've got the holly sycamores around the, the beautiful illustration there. And even Ratty's home has got snow on top. Love, lovely touches, just really, they, they really um, took their time with these packaging um, designs to get them really right. So yeah, 1994, this was released. I'll just open this again. We have another advertisement in the side. This has changed now, so we've got VCI, Video Collection International, even though we've got Video Collection logo on there. This was the newer sort of logo that they um, designed at this point. If I just take this out, you can see that those previous two releases are advertised in there. It's quite nice to see sort of colour advertising inside, on the inside sleeves like that. So yeah, very nice to have that in the collection. Okay, so the next one to appear was a re-release of Spring Follies. Um, now this is again, beautiful cover. I love this sort of familiar photo we have of the four of them there. Um, it's definitely got a lovely spring feel to it. Um, didn't talk too much about the sort of colouring of the, the last one where we had the sort of snow falling, the light blue snow, very wintry. This one, of course, they've gone for a very sort of pastel green colour, uh, which feels yeah, perfect for spring, doesn't it? The only thing I would say on this is the illustrations here I don't think are by Beverly Bush. I think they're drawn in the style, but they don't look like Beverly Bush illustrations there. I think someone's tried to sort of imitate them. Um, they're okay, they're nice from a distance, but it's just when you get close up, close to them, they look a bit... If you look at that, I think that's, yeah, someone else's work. But uh, not to matter. Nice touch anyway. In fact, there was a big difference here. You can see that the middle episode there is the Lost River, whereas previously it was Paper Chase. I don't know why that was the case. Um, there was actually a video uh, released um, separately uh, that was uh, one of those sort of watch and play videos. Uh, so if you remember before I'd covered the School Days slash Hot Air release, there was one featuring just the episode Paper Chase that came with a colouring book and pens, uh, which I'll, I'll cover that in a separate video. But um, that's probably why they, they chose to put that on that video and replace uh, it on uh, this video with The Lost River. A um, bit of a shame because I think Paper Chase is a stronger episode, but um, The Lost River is still a worthy one to have. Obviously, it's a spring episode and it's from Series 4, so it does the, 
therefore sort of um, make the video cover a range of episodes across the series. It even says here, The Great Steamer and Mayday, previously available in different packaging as TV8024. So there we go. Um, just open the video there. We get, um, interesting, the video collection there. I think the earlier releases featured this and the later one featured that later VCI logo. Um, but of course, new advertising again on the inner sleeve and this time Winter Tales is added. So um, already you can see this is a building into a lovely collection uh, with, like I said before, in my opinion, the best packaging there's ever been for VHS releases. And then came Autumn Antiques. Now this one I, I particularly love. I just love the colours, so rich and vibrant. Um, first one where we got this beautiful sort of yellowy colour going down to a red with the beautiful oranges in between. Um, again, these illustrations, I'm not sure if they're Beverly Bush, Bush's ones. I don't think they are. I think they've been imitated again, but they are lovely. Um, lovely central image there of Toad uh, from uh, Harvest, the first episode on this video. You can see there, this one actually we're treated to two pictures, whereas all the others have been one. So we've got one from Monster of the Wild Wood there and one from Remember Remember. So quite nice that. We've actually got a photo from each episode. Um, this is when, like like the ones in the 80s, the, they took care with which images to put on. They made sure that the photos on the sleeves were actually from the episodes on them. Not always the case with the DVD releases, unfortunately, <laughs> but there you are. Um, so, yeah, uh, lovely video to add to the collection, released in 1995. Uh, says there as well, previously available in different packaging, of course, as TV8040. So this is TV8208. And uh, this one, I think I got um, not too long after Winter Tales, I think. Um, can't remember exactly, but um, for whatever reason, I lost the label on the on the video there. I can't remember how that happened. Very odd, but there you go. Uh, the advert inside, of course, now we've got all the four previous Wind in the Willows releases there. So building up the adverts. And of course, as you can see, the BFG was re-released again at that point. So nice to see that on there as well. Another uh, Costco Hall classic. So there we go. That's uh, Autumn Antiques. Okay, now you'd think that the next release would have been the remaining seasonal video, Summer Escapades, but no, it wasn't. In fact, they did this one, uh, which is quite an unusual one, uh, two complete videos on one tape, A Tale of Two Toads and Spring Follies. Um, so this is quite a bumper volume. Um, you can see here... Same sort of style packaging, but obviously pretty different because of all the sort of fact that it is two videos. Um, <laughs> sort of split down the middle there. Um, all exactly the same content, but on one bumper video lasting 110 minutes. So, uh, yeah, they bought this out in 1995. Same year as uh, the Autumn Antiques and Spring Follies videos themselves. So, um, yeah, for whatever reason they decided to do this. Uh, just open this up again. Nice bumper video there. This time, black and white adverts on the inside, but nothing nothing from Wind in the Willows. We have uh, other children's series there. Thompson the Tank Engine and Friends, Rosie and Jim, Learn with City and Brum. So other sort of uh, videos from the video collection. And uh, I think they're all 10. No, maybe not all 10s, actually. Yeah, so it's a nice release. It was great uh, to, that they did it. Um, Bit of an odd one, I suppose, uh, when the fact, you know, you can get them separately, but uh, maybe it was a bit of a sort of budget way of buying them. Um, I remember getting this in a uh, VHS specialist shop that was only around for limited time. Uh, they also had, um, funnily enough, they had some of the uh, videos from the 80s in there, even. They had, a, uh, I remember, Spring Follies and Autumn Antiques and Oh Mr. Toad. It's where I actually got the Oh Mr. Toad video. Um, but uh, yeah, I picked this up as well because I remember them being very cheap, and I thought, well, why not? Let's uh, let's build this collection. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there you go. And now we're finally on to summer escapades, which is actually probably the rarest video uh, from this period, uh, which always puzzled me. So straight away, you can see that this sleeve is pretty different to the others. Um, we of course have the. Wind in the Willows typeface there, but uh, instead of the sort of like photo album sort of style that it went for before, uh, we've got this, uh, just this sort of square image here. 
sunflowers, very nice, not Beverly Bush, or even trying to be like Beverly Bush this time, I think, but lovely to have the sunflowers on there. We've got the sort of corner of yellow there, representing the sun shining. Uh, definitely feels very summery, but um, yeah, quite a different style. Now this this is a really interesting one. I think this is I don't I don't know if they sort of um, bought this on the market then cancelled it quickly or what happened really. Um, one of the giveaways is the fact that the tape number is the exact same one as the original one in the eighties, whereas all the others had new uh, release sort of numbers, catalog numbers. This one didn't. Uh, no idea why that is. Um, it actually says previously available in different packaging, of course, so it's basically the same tape, same release, same episodes, so I don't know if you can see that. I mean, I always thought this as well, the pink on the blue doesn't work very well. It's actually very hard to read. Maybe that's why it was cancelled, I don't know. But if I bring this a bit closer, we've got Toad Photographer there, The Great Golfing Gamble, and Grand Annual Show. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, it's an odd one, but I'm very glad I got it. I found it one day in an HMV store at Piccadilly Circus in London. Uh, I'm not sure if that store's still there, actually, but um, I just remember walking in there and seeing it and thinking, gosh, you know, I just never knew it existed. I, th I thought that they just released the spring, autumn and winter videos and decided not to as the summer one for some reason, uh, which was frustrating because at the time I didn't own the original summer one. It was the one that we never had when we were growing up. And then it was still blimmin' difficult to get hold of. <laughs> Don't know if anyone knows why. Um, it's a sort of mystery to me. But um, I found it, and it was very cheap. I think it was £3.99. And this was going back, gosh, 15 years or something. Maybe longer. Um, it must be longer than that, actually. I mean, this was actually bought out in 1997. So two years after uh, that previous video came out. So, yeah, a two-year gap. And... Uh, don't know, maybe it was an afterthought, maybe they thought, oh, we haven't released the summer one, we better get it out there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no advertising on the inner sleeve. Um, we've got the sort of newer VCI logo there. But uh, at least they did release it, uh, and I'm very glad to have it. I actually really like this sleeve. Um, I like that it's uh, it's unusual, it's sort of its own thing. Um, but yeah, there, there you have it. Okay, also in 1997, we saw this wonderful release, uh, My Bumper, The Wind in the Willows, Fun and Games. Um, I wish they hadn't put My Bumper on there, personally, because I thought that made it sound a bit more childish than what The Wind in the Willows actually is. Uh, if they could have done away with that and just called it Wind in the Willows, Fun and Games, but never mind, there you go. Um, I remember this vividly when it was released. I remember buying this also from an H&V store in London. And uh, yeah, first time on video, 100 minutes. And that's why it's bumper, because <laughs> it contains five episodes, all from series, uh, oh no, sorry, a couple of them from series three, and the rest of them from series four. Uh, so this contained Mercury, of, sorry, excuse me, Mercury of the Motor Bicycle, Champion of the Green Bays, both from series uh, three, and then from series four we got the tournament, Hot Air, and Fighting Fit. Now, although it says uh, first time on video, that's not actually the case individually for these episodes because they all uh, previously featured on previous uh, releases. So Mercury the Motor Bicycle and Champion of the Green Bays both featured on that uh, box set from the 80s, the Oto uh, box set. Um, and the tournament was featured on a children's favourites compilation. Hot Air was featured on that watch and play video alongside uh, School Days. And Fighting Fit was featured also on a children's compilation video. Um, so, what they really mean is these five episodes together have never been on a, a video before. <laughs> but what a lovely uh, main image of the, uh, in the middle there from Hot Air. Beautiful, vibrant, sharp uh, photo taken on set there of Toad and the henchman weasel <laughs> in the balloon. And going back to the back, we have... Um, couple of lovely sort of photos here, one from Mercury of the Motor Bicycle, one from Fighting Fit, and one from Badger, Ratty and Mole, uh, also from Mercury of the Motor Bicycle. Let's go into here. This is nice because we've also got the uh, inner sleeve advertising, lots of video releases here, including three Wind in the Willows videos that we've covered already. But of course, we've also got some interesting releases from Thomas the Tanker, Gin and Friends, Rosie and Jim, Brum, uh, what's that? Tots TV, 
I'm a little teapot and city. <laughs> Arguably, I think the Wind in the Willows is the most grown up of all those, but there you go. <laughs> it is interesting now, Wind in the Willows sometimes gets categorized with um, sort of preschool series. Certainly the case with some of the children's favorites compilations. Um, and then it also stands, of course, as something much more grown up than those. But um, uh, but there you go. I'm very happy to own this. Uh, very glad that it was released. And we're on to the final release that I'm covering in today's video, The Four Seasons. So this was a lovely double video, which in fact didn't need to be a double video. I don't know why they made it a double video, if I'm honest, but uh, they did. Um, would have cost them much more money to produce. But when it says four seasons, it basically means uh, an episode from each season. So basically what they've done is they've selected an episode uh, from those four seasonal videos previously, previously released. So they went with May Day for spring, a uh, grand annual show for summer, a harvest for autumn, winter sports for winter. So um, all of them uh, from series two, apart from grand annual show, which was from series one. Um, so they've gone for sort of the sort of older episodes and to be fair they're good choices they're really good choices they sort of they are standout episodes for each of those seasons um we've got the lovely sort of illustration of the four of them there the familiar one there and we've even got it on the side um there a version of it lovely sort of orangey color um i first was aware of this when i saw it advertised if i just open this i saw it advertised on a different video i can't remember which the video I was looking in it wasn't the wind in the willows one and I saw the image of it there and I thought oh that looks nice and um, the four seasons and I, I was thinking it was a collection of all the episodes from the four seasons um and maybe not and then, then I thought oh maybe it's just four episodes but it's on one video but yeah why did they put it on two videos when you could easily squeeze four episodes on one video especially when they squeeze five on one video with this <laughs> Yeah, quite puzzling, but there you go. Um, uh, the, the actual title, The Four Seasons, is also a little bit misleading for Americans because um, a series in America is called A Season. So that could almost suggest it's every episode of The Wind and the Willows, <laughs> uh, which is also a bit confusing with um, a later DVD release. Uh, but uh, in the UK, of course, uh, we go with series rather than seasons. So, but I do love this release. I think it's very smart looking. It's a lovely cover. I love this sort of, um, sort of uh, squarish, sort of rem reminiscent of the, um, the sort of titles, the closing titles uh, with the title of the Wind and the Willows inside. Um, those with keen eyes probably can see that I've got a little message on here. I'll just come in close. And it says, to Richard, ah, the open road from Barry P. And that is Barry Purvis, who, worked on the wind and the willows he was very key um creative on it he originally animated toad in the film uh, and through the series and eventually started directing on the series from series two onwards uh, through to series three so he was very key um member of uh, the, the crew who brought this to life and uh, i was lucky enough to work with barry um first as opposite him as an animator on fifi and the flower plots uh, which is when he signed this for me i remember bringing it in one day and he gladly signed it and then not long after that, he directed me as an animator on Rupert Bear, Follow the Magic. Um, and I've also worked with him on a couple of stage productions as well. So, um, yeah, he's a good friend and uh, I've got very happy memories of working with him and uh, very glad to have this signed by him. So, yeah, lovely release. This was brought out in 1998 and that marked the last time a VHS release uh, came out for The Wind in the Willows until... The first DVD release, which was in 2000. So nothing in 1999, but when 2000 came along, yes, that's when things kicked off on DVD. Uh, and that's what I'll cover in a separate video. Uh, in fact, there were some further VHS releases after that first DVD release, but I'll cover those in another video. So there we have it, the VHS UK collection uh, from sort of 1989 when the packaging changed all the way up to 1998, prior to DVD taking off. So, um, yeah, very nice collection in all. Uh, most of them, of course, were in that lovely sort of style with the familiar typeface, uh, but we've got some uh, lovely earlier styles as well. So across across them all, a wonderful collection of episodes released. 
So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, there will be more videos coming, of course. Um, I'm sort of getting back into the merchandise now, so week by week I'll, uh, like before, select a different topic or select a different range of items. Um, but of course each week at the moment we're celebrating 40 years since the original transmission of each episode. So just to remind you, this week we are celebrating the kidnapping of Toad, episode 2, which was broadcast on the ITV in the UK on Friday the 4th of May uh, 1984. I nearly said 2024 then. That's where we are now, 40 years. Wow. <laughs> So thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified of any uh, further videos. And please do leave comments. I always read them. Uh, apologies if I don't always respond to them uh, straight away. But uh, rest assured, I do read them and I do take notes. So thank you, everybody. And I'll see you next week. All the best. OK, I'm actually going to add a couple more videos to this, a couple of anomalies. First one is a separate release of Mole's Cousin and Other Stories, which was that lollipop one we looked at before, but it was also released in this cardboard sleeve in 1991. So uh, episodes, always that the same, Mole's Cousin, Oberon's Return and Happy New Year. Uh, but yeah, for whatever reason, it was released uh, under the 10 video banner, not under the lollipop um, banners. So yeah. Uh, you can see their video collection on there, so um, yeah, don't know why it had this uh, re-release, but um, nice that it happened, nice to own it. Lovely central picture there of the two of them, From uh, that's actually from Mole's Cousin, the first one. So yeah, thought I'd just share that as well, quite a rare one, I uh, found it on eBay. Uh, haven't seen it um, since really, so yeah, pretty uh, rare one to find. And I thought I'd just share that uh, one I mentioned previously, Paper Chase. So I've checked the year on this, and sure enough, this was released in 1994, a year before Spring Follies was released. Uh, so that's why I believe they decided to replace Paper Chase uh, with The Lost River on that on that video. Um, maybe they, I don't know, they, they bought this out not thinking that it was on Spring Follies before they released it, who knows. Uh, you can see my, my copy is pretty tatty. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping one day I might find one in much better condition than this. Hopefully even in the package with the original colouring book. Uh, maybe even the pens. Um, I actually remember them um, being on sale. Uh, I was in a Wilkinson store um, in my hometown. And they had a bunch of them. And I really, really wish I picked one up then. Um, I wasn't really into this then. Wasn't collecting uh, really, so I, I just dismissed it. But um, yeah, kicking myself now because I haven't seen one since, and I've only been able to pick up this very tatty copy from eBay. But uh, video is good though, uh, good condition. It is there, and just the one episode, Paper Chase. That's all it is. Um, shame they didn't put two episodes on here, um, which they did in that previous sort of watch and play release with School Days and Hot Air. But uh, Nice to have all the same.